Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, today I'm finally gonna show my face. I've been putting it off for a while because, uh, to be honest, I'm pretty camera shy. But I thought it's just another hurdle that I need to sort of overcome if I'm gonna try and do this a bit more. Um, and that leads me on to this, uh, today's topic, um, and that's communication. Communication in structural engineering, there are loads of different forms of it. Um, and it's definitely something which uh, you need to get good at. Uh, different forms of it, you know, simple stuff like writing an email, phone conversations, talking to people at meetings, people, talking to people on site, um, and doing like sketches. All forms of communication is uh, really, really important. And it is definitely a skill um, which you pick up with experience. Um, I used to be really fascinated by going to meetings with uh, my boss and he was so good at talking to different people um, and it's kind of like a style which I've kind of developed and it's just be like really friendly um, and, you know, try and get on the good side so if you build up a really good relationship with people um, even when things go wrong they're not gonna like they're not gonna like bollock you too badly and so it's always good to keep clients, contractors, architects, you know, all on good, friendly terms. Uh, today's video is kind of going to be more based on uh, on sketching and why sketching is such a useful form of communication, bringing ideas to the table and how you can just improve on it, basically. And, you know, there's, there are different forms of sketching. You know, you've got basic form maybe when you're trying to do a really quick sketch in a meeting um, just to show an idea get the contractors on on board just show them my, their idea and see if it's like buildable or say for example if you're in the office um, you know you've, you've gone to the meeting you, you know the basic idea and you need to flesh out the detail a bit more back at the office um, and you can spend five ten minutes doing a better detail and then sending it across um, so it's it's, it's knowing when to do um, like a long sort of detail and when to do a short, short, quick sketch. Um, and that is really, really powerful. Um, you know, the famous quote, you know, the picture is worth a thousand words is so, so true. Um, and, you, and you can say so much more in a detail and it's so easy to, to follow and build something through a good sketch. Um, so I'm just going to lay out a couple of tips and tricks um, which you can just build over, over time. Uh, which will help some of your sketching. Um, we're not going to be talking about how, how you sketch uh, or draw like an architect, but we can definitely build from what they learn and how they use some of the techniques into our drawings. So let me show you that. Okay, so the first thing is to learn to be able to draw freehand. It doesn't matter if your line isn't perfectly straight or if the line is a little bit wiggly. I personally find that there's a bit of character to the sketch when the lines aren't perfectly straight and a little bit wiggly so just take your time when drawing the line and it'll be fine next um, draw a line once don't go over the same line over and over again it, it can lead to the line being a bit messy you want a nice clean sketch um, the only real exception to this is if you're going over the line um, with a thicker line um, I tend to use a thicker line for outlines and then use thin line for details and hatching. Next, make your lines count. If the line is meant to touch another line, make them cross. That way it is uh, really obvious that they're meant to be crossing or touching. Next will be know some of the common hatch patterns, such as uh, concrete, block work, brickwork, uh, timber, screed, insulation, and like earth and ground. If you have some time, um, you can try and add some colour. Uh, depending on who the sketch is for, it can be beneficial to add some colour if it will help add some clarity. Remember that a sketch is meant to be quick, so this does need to be balanced out with time versus reward. Um, a time where I probably will add some colour is why I'm sending the sketch to a client who probably isn't as technically savvy and that's where the colour can really help um, sort of demonstrate what I'm trying to show. Try to keep the drawings really clean. 
if you're annotating the drawing, spread it out. Don't clutter up the, the drawing. It, it, it detracts from the focus of the main sketch. Um, sort of avoid labels like two inside the drawing. Um, you can come up with a style of leader and arrows. I still mix between my my sort of my arrows. Uh, I don't really know why. I just it's just whatever I fancy at the time. Uh, this actually makes sketching fun and enjoyable, and it's probably one of the parts of the job I I do enjoy the most. It's coming up with details because a lot of the time the details I do sketch out does often lead to being built. It's really important that your handwriting is legible. I used to sort of handwrite my leaders and comments, um, but I've since developed an engineer style of printing my words, um, but still kind of join them up a bit. It, um, if I'm writing it too quickly, it can get a bit messy, so just take your time. Um, it is really important that what you write is clear to avoid miscommunication or potential mistakes on site. Uh, once you get pretty comfortable doing 2D sketches, you can try practicing how to draw 3D isometric drawings. In certain situations, they can really help get your ideas across, especially if it's like a really complicated detail. Um, I wouldn't usually do it too often because it, it does require quite a lot of time. Um, and drawing 3D is pretty difficult without guidelines. I mean, luckily with the concepts that there is a um, like an isometric view, which you can see, which, which does help. So what I'm doing in the moment is in one layer, just going, just trying to roughly draw it in like a thin line, and then I'll go over it in a in a thicker line. Um, what can really help when drawing three D is think before you draw it. Try and plan out what you want to draw first. As you gain more experience, this will become easier. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you have any questions, please drop me a comment. Uh, please like and subscribe if you think my videos are useful as it really gives me confidence to keep making these videos. Cool. Thank you.